Edinburgh Art College. I popped along to their annual exhibition yesterday and enjoyed it tremendously. This is going to be very much a personal look at what I liked, my highlights. And that's going to include the building, the animation room, a film that has a fragrance, a wooden quilt, Mary Buchanan's illustration, a door handle, sculpture by Cecilia Horacek, mixed media by Imogen Lee Allen, paintings by Lucas McGregor, and Intermedia by Anna Sheik. Reasons to go along to the end of year art exhibition show at an art college. Well, I can think of about four. Number one is to see if you can spot those who are going to be the new exciting upcoming artists, maybe to get their work cheap. Secondly, to see the curation, the quality of the way the works are displayed. Third, because there's such a diversity of the arts. You'll get photography, sculpture, video, animation, all together in one show. And four, location. Especially if you're Edinburgh Art College. I met up with a couple of friends to, to pop around the exhibition and we started off in the architecture, which was brilliant because of the other building you could see through the windows. The Edinburgh Castle is right behind the back of the building and the architecture display looks straight out onto it. So it was a great contrast between what's old and what's new. Then there was some projection work done with installations and I particularly liked one that had a sheet of plastic in front of the projected surface at the back. And the projected surface at the back was painted on, drawn on. Then there was this plastic cover and on top of the cover were shapes that were going to change what was projected through it. So there was several layers of design and drawing going on at the same time. I like that. Also in the sculpture rooms you could see fantastic views of the castle. You can see the sunshine pouring in through the large windows. Just such a wonderful space to create in. I was very much taken by the door handle. And just walking past some studios you could see people at work. When we came to the design area there were different things that were made. This was to do with reconstructing plastic. I like that piece of art. It was very colourful. Then we came to one which you could look upon as either being like a 1970s hotel room after the Who had stayed or else this is all about loss and the human body and so forth. It's very Instagrammable art. Is it saying anything to you? Then the Persian rugs remade again from recycling them. And it's got that kind of mixture of the old and the new, the new materials, and then the sense of weaving from the past. And as you walk past doors, you could just see something intriguing to go in and see further. In the sculpture court, it's kind of like the heart of the building and you would keep coming back to it as you obviously walk around the rooms. And I particularly like this. It's, I would think of it really as a sculpture because it's a walkway through and I had to wait quite a while because there was a couple at the far end and I didn't want to intrude in their privacy. But it's encouraging you to scream if you want to, respond. And then we come to Endangered Languages Project. And it's... A printing of endangered languages which are predicted to become extinct by the turn of the century. It's a 50 meter hand printed scroll detailing over 2,500 languages which are due to become extinct and it's emphasizing the fragility of these forms. And this is expected to travel and I would be very I would be very highly expect that this will turn up somewhere near you sometime soon, Tracy McShane. It's also got a, a sound element where she has recorded Gaelic. And although it's it's a good piece and it's important. What I felt was that it could be even better because 
it's got that kind of air of pristineness because it's got this nice white background. I thought there was no, not so much of a sense of loss as you could have had. Instead of it looking like an unemotional computer printout, that you could have it with the cloth being slightly ripped or in tatters or maybe got smoke damage. And the sign track could have blanked out spaces or parts where the volume fades. And the sign track is Scottish because it's to do with the loss of language in here in Scotland, so it's, it's a local expression. But I would have loved to have heard some of these languages. They must surely have been captured by anthropologists that are working near them. And it would be nice to hear what is endangered. I did like the loose and wavy paintings. They reminded me a little bit of um, Blake, William Blake. Every now and then you just come upon this beautifully lit statues and the building itself was fabulous. The, the ceiling, the staircase, they beckoned you up to the next floor which had a lot of stage costumes and my favourite paintings. These are the ones by Lucas McGregor and they are about space about what's missing, about not talking about things. I love the way those are blanked out, that the missing words are put into blank and it's up to you to guess what they are. And also that underneath the main one there's a sense of location, there's an indication that there's maps and then a little indicator which is a little bit like what you get used to for Google Maps indicating you are here. I saw a sculpture of uh, someone who looked like they were waiting for the invention of shoes, a little Greek sculpture and examining a fit for a thorn and someone had come along and painted the toenails. So that's a little student touch. And I loved, loved, loved the work of Cecilia Horacek. She painted a arching bluey green semi-arch by the door she came in so that you could peek around it and see what she had made and it made it like an installation. I loved her work, which was on the window and facing the castle. And one of her themes is looking through, hence the archway. We went along to the animation room and there were fabulous films in there. I think you could spend, happily spend a couple of hours in there. I was attracted to one called Citrus because it had a smelling element. And so there were a little infuser with the smell coming through of the orange and the film when it started had a real sense of Norma McLaren about it, kind of painted across the screen in energy and jazzy sound. And that's one I would, I would like to see again. In the design room, I liked the Spectrum quilt, which was uh, wood, I think, wood or lino, and it was drawn gra graphic symbols, and it was about two different individuals who'd made it, and about how you could look on the world in a neurodiverse kind of way and see different things. So it was a little bit like a conversation and it was making the point that it, a quilt did not need to be necessarily in fabric. Although, as you will have seen from my video recently, I do love fabric quilts as well. Looking through the window again, this is now looking at the front of the building and you're still seeing beautiful sights, lovely buildings. This is in the illustration uh, room. And I particularly liked the way it was laid out for Mary Buchanan. I liked her little desk. She had this close up on some of the items that she had made. And the illustration style isn't particularly radical. It's quite popular at the moment, but she had done it really well. And the way she laid out her desk with the designs on the flat surface and little books together. And then you can see her little cards over there to the left. And I made a point of taking one of them, taking it home for future reference. We had the stage costumes, they were a great collection and someone I was speaking to said that she reckoned it was her choice out of this entire year of what had been made. That's a very interesting door to walk past and see what's suddenly looking at you and inviting you in. The beauty of the day was that it was sun was shining and the location is wonderful. Everywhere I went, the building itself kept shining through as one of the most beautiful things to look at. One of the most gorgeous artworks itself. 
Now, in case you can't pop along yourself in person, the good news is not only is there this very personal, idiosyncratic guide around the exhibition, but also you can see it all online. The Art College has got the whole collection um, online. Back out again into sunshine and the most gorgeous sculpture outside, which wobbles, is designed to wobble on its little fine legs. But I love the positive message it has. Breathe through the chaos. So I'll leave you with that and I hope you find something here that has been enjoyable to see at Edinburgh College of Art.